Hey guys, yo, I was not gonna make this video. I was not gonna make this video on the simple reason that you know people's gonna think that it's cloud chasing or you need so, or I need subscribers, I need views, or everybody's doing it and shit. No, because this guy, I said it before. I said it before in one of my videos, one of my uh, vlog videos when I was doing the update on life. I said Corey Kenshin is like my top three inspirations. It's Corey Kenshin, is XXX Tentacion, and there's um there's a uh, another person as well. He's the top three. This dude, I've been watching this dude ever since he did those skits with the freaking wigs, bro. And them shits was hilarious. Bro. But like, this dude needs a break, bro. This dude really needs a break. Because the pattern that he, like before, like, you know, he started making videos and then stopped. Then started making videos again and stopped. Then started making videos and now stopped. There is a situation, with, there's a situation that he's dealing with within, within that, you know, that pattern that he needs to solve before, you know, it breaks him. I don't know what that situation is, but there is definitely a pattern for which, you know, he needs to deal with, you know, behind the scenes. So he definitely needs that break to figure himself out, figure out like what he's going to do or figure out that situation, how to overcome the problem that keeps on popping up. And I remember, you know, I remember one of his videos. Let me see if I can find it. It was one of, there was a video 11 months ago called Inside of My Mind that he made 11 months ago. Bobby go the situation that he dealt with. I watched that video, I was like, yo, I can relate because that's kind of the situation that I go to right now. Within that video, within that Inside My Mind video, he been open, very open, very vulnerable with that video. You can see, like, within that video that he crashed, that, you know, the situa like, situations happen into where, like, you know, he, like, he, the only motivation is where he had, like, an idea or something to just, you know, boom. And then, you know, play the game, record it, and, you know, do it like a funny little skit. Those crashes, those crashes is too, it's too severe. And that pattern is, that pattern is there. And he opens, he opens up in that video a little bit to, you know, state, like, what his situation is or how, like, what's happening mentally within his mind. I also think he made a tweet about it as well, what's happening with his, uh, like, you know, his mental state. If you're mentally damaged and you go on social media with, with the, with the numbers that you have, it can be toxic. He... He needs that he needs that freedom for him for him for himself to heal his mental mindset and i feel like you know it's good for him because a lot of people you see this example right now like a lot of people is going overboard with these assumptions saying that oh he deleted his instagram oh that means he's not um that means he's leaving youtube he's not posting anything because he's finally done with youtube they're making so many assumptions of what what's happening with his situation he's probably not even he's, he's not responding to these things but he's i know he is looking at them i know he sees them i know he sees the notifications people going on his xbox to spam or like messages of spam everything for him to come back instead of doing that just send him positive send him positive messages Be like yo take your time bro we're here when you're ready like when you're ready to come back we're here we're always here for you you know take your time the key word is take your time don't force him to come back let him come back at his own time let him come back when he when he needs to come back when he himself feels like he's ready to come back without any force without you know oh i gotta make this content for these guys oh i've been i've been, uh, I've been freaking skipping for months now again i need to you know that that mental panic it destroys it, it destroys the person all that pressure it destroys the person mentally and if you're if you're damaged mentally if you want to lose your mind then it could be a dangerous place that's what he said in a video with um you know rest in peace etika he, saw, he talks about mental mindsets you know how you how you need to be like you know go outside get some fresh air don't be, don't be your phone on your internet for a long time. Uh, social media could be definitely be a toxic place. And yo, that that for him speaking on to that, for him making that video, it's probably yeah, it's, it's similar to what he's going through. It's, it's mental mindset. He needs to be free. That's what he's doing. He's taking a break of social media. He's being free. He's being free with himself. He's healing outside, and not being trapped inside of social media. He's going outside, being free outside, doing all these, um, doing the um, the wish me's. He's he. With, with his smiles with hanging out with his friends he's he's living his life he's making memories so he said before that sitting in that chair didn't feel good that, that is because he's being drained that motivation well every time when he looks at that chair he's 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 reminded of like you know pressure that he has to do to put a video out and i just i'm not saying i'm not i'm not hating on you know the Corey kitchen you know hard fans i am a hard fan as well but i'm just saying calm down He's going to be back. He's not leaving. He's not leaving. He's going to be back. That's a fact. He's going to be back. He's not going to leave. He's not going to leave everybody. He's just taking a break. Like he said before, he's just taking a break. He's going to come back. He said it in his Instagram post that he will come back. He's just got to calm down. Let him breathe. He's just, he's a human. He has a soul. He's, he's a human. Just let him breathe. The editing this guy does takes, it takes hours. It takes, yo, I, I have experience. I edit my videos too. 
but not not as how he edited his, his videos my videos take like about like three to four hours imagine how much he takes then he, he's for he's like being pressured to post every single day with those video with those with those same edits like see like you have to ask himself like ask the question like does he even sleep that pressure that pressure is what gets to like what gets to him that pressure of people wanting more content from him she i shouldn't use this word but like being addicted to his content like you have other people you have other people's channels to watch too not just his like he said before just go outside social media could be a toxic place social media could definitely be a toxic place and i wish i wish him all the well all the good luck because you know he's still an inspiration to me i still watch his videos i still look at his um i still look at his edits i still you know he's the inspiration you can see you can see my videos the similarities of his edits to my edits it's because i'm inspired i'm inspired by him he's an amazing person i'm inspired by like you know his personality and everything i'm inspired and i just yo i want to say i want to give a uh, shout out to tatiana games i also want to give a shout out you know i made sure that you know i had these guys names on um my tabs but i guess my tabs keep on freaking automatically deleting like what the fuck yeah 624 go shout out to them too bro and whoever and everybody else who like made these types of videos to so like you know you know tell the fans of Corey kitchen that he's going to be okay you see in the videos of him at i think pax of him like you know hanging out with his friends you know be smiling and such you saw that you saw clips of videos of him you know doing all these things he's fine he's okay he's alive it's okay as she even said he's going to be okay that dude's good he just need a break you know he's good just as long as we know that this dude is good it's, it's, it's all right it's all right he can take his break he needs it he has he has thousands of videos too so it's like you have content you have content to watch it's not like it's not like you're missing anything he's going to be back he's going to come back bro he's human he did all of this by himself he did all of this by himself he did all he made he made videos he did all of this by himself one man you know how long editing takes a, a bit ryan you know his burnt out video basically and he said he said himself like he knows how Corey kitchen feels and how he needed that break people could get burned out it's cool like as like same thing as like, what a beat ryan said it's like yeah we could play the game we could record the game the game is fun we love to react to games we love to like you know give our experience to the game but once we edit the video once we edit the video we know how long it's going to take to edit this video that's that part is the draining part now our reactions to games our playing games is not fake it's real but the editing though that we have to we have to edit the long video but we put this on ourselves we knew we knew well, you know that we had to deal with the situations like this but it's hard it's hard we need that break we need that break that's why some people some people resolve to um to buying that um buying an editor didn't want to make this video because you know people's going to say like i'm cloud chasing and shit but i just you know i had to point it out because this dude is an awesome inspiration to me like he is an amazing person and i wish him nothing i wish him nothing but the best like I wish him nothing but the best. Because that dude is freaking awesome, bro. I think I'm done. I said everything that I want to say. It's probably, this is a, like a, situ um, a serious topic. Be, or like, you know, be rambling on. I know it's like not my content because I play video games. So like, oh, he just, he's making another video about him talking. And sh okay. <laughs> yes. I have to get my mind across this situation because it's getting out of hand. I have to, I have to speak on, upon it. This is Koi Kitchen. I hope you, I hope you're, I hope you're doing great. I know you're doing great. Keep on being awesome. We're all here for you. We're all waiting for you. It's okay. You can take as long as you need. Don't be pushed. Don't be worried. We're all good. Just take as long as you need and take it all in. Take the present present moment in and just, you know, heal your mind. Take every take every day as a step towards, you know, mental health. We got you for it. We, we got you. That's it.